Hey, it's Jill with Crick Flix, and what I'm going to be working on now, um, I've done a Tinker Bell in the past using my um, Cricut cartridge. However, this time I'm using my Silhouette Cameo, and she came out completely different with the, um, the print and cut design. I've already got all the pieces done. Um, one of the the images I, I used all Google images um, and one of them is just her and resting on her elbow here which I put on gift boxes and when I'm done I'll show you um, how those came out these are going to go on some little snack boxes the big ones I made were 12 inches tall and then the, the box itself was about 18 inches tall and I added glitter and things to it not to this one but one thing that I'm going to tell you is the image that I used on Google um, actually was in a, in a box. I mean, it was like just a square with her picture. And so her wings were like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Her wings were like this. And there was no tips on them. So what I did is I cut, copied and cut, and this one, the wing, actually the wing on this one was only came, there was something else on it and this wing was cut off like, like there and this one was without a tip. This gets a little complicated explaining how I did it, but when I copied the image, I made a tip on this one and then I took this wing and sliced it off here and flipped it and put it over here and by hand trace the outline so that she had two full wings because again she didn't have she didn't have wing complete wings and I really really liked this image because her face is just clear as a bell how'd you like that clear as a tinker bell anyway um, what I may do is if anybody is interested is if they want to know how I sometimes piece things together to make it an image like this I will be more than happy to do it on my silhouette however because I want to get um, this order done I want to show you the boxes weren't part of it but I'm really big into accenting my party favors with a mini snack box so I'm going to pop that my Tinkerbells on here. Um, these actually measure three, a little over three inches and I'm going to put them up on the box so the wings hang over. Um, another thing that I'll tell you is I went on to Etsy and I looked up digital paper for Tinkerbell and so I could get the, um, get I don't know, I, I do that a lot, like with Toy Stories and Monsters, Inc. and Mickey Mouse and Minnie and all of them. I have digital prints for um, Snow White. Uh, there, there are numerous ones out there. I'm, I don't want to say that there's every mood, movies imaginable, but the really popular ones, it seems, I've always had luck in finding them. That way I get the colors that go with all the pieces. And this one... I believe had eight, maybe ten sheets, which I used to print out the gift boxes, and I used them to print out my um, tags that I made, my happy birthday tags. All I did was make a little square with rounded corners using my silhouette. This one had a little bit of white on it, and so does this one. Sometimes, you know, I absolutely love the silhouette, but sometimes the cuts are just a little bit off. One trick for any of you that have issues with that is to take some WD ointment, WD ointment, WD. Is it called WD? I'm getting, I've got so many grandkids I can't even remember what the stuff is called. Yeah, WD-40. I'm thinking A&D ointment for ba bike diaper rash. You're not gonna wanna use that. WD-40, use that um, the bar mechanism that the housing goes back and forth on on your machine spray some of that on there and take make sure your machine is off when you do this and take your housing and pull it back and forth and back and forth I usually do it about a dozen times to make sure that really gets oiled in there 
Then I take some Kleenex or a paper towel and wipe out all the excess. Um, I was actually instructed to do that directly from Silhouette. So they're the ones that told me to do that when that happens. And I'm sure not everybody that watches my videos has um, had to call um, Silhouette for any, you know, for something and may not know that little trick. But if that ever happens or it feels like it's cutting off or you hear it kind of clunky, that's what you do. And I use mine so much that I have to oil it at least once a week. But I think that's because that poor machine's not made to, made to um, <laughs> work the way I make it work. Because I use it constantly. My son-in-law call, called me this morning because he had my daughter's away out on, on a seminar and he had to um, go to a wedding and called me to find out if by any chance did I happen to have a wedding card sitting around. Normally I have cards for all occasions. One year for Christmas I made, made each one of my daughters and um, well what I thought would be daughter-in-law's uh, box of all occasion cards. All of them were different so that they always had a card on hand um, and I, I didn't have any so because of the silhouette cameo I was able to whip up a wedding card in five minutes. Um, I just cannot stress what an amazing machine and I think that uh, folks out there don't realize even the ones who do own a cameo I don't think have oh I didn't put these all even dog on me got to take them off because they're not even um I don't think that they, they realize just how much the silhouette can do um because sometimes we we don't think outside the box we just routinely do do things we might have seen or whatever but I try and share you know what it's Saturday today and boy do I suck this is not going good. I'm putting these on wrong. Getting a little bit annoyed here. Um, anyway, aside from the fact that I'm getting annoyed, um, those of you that love unique and um, different things, you can do unbelievable amounts of things with your with your um, cameo and. Again, I, I try and do as many videos as I can. Typically when I do a video, the video stems from an order. Um, somebody had asked me, can I do a video on, I don't even remember what it was, but wh whoever that was, if you do watch my channel, and people who have special requests, I really am extremely busy that it isn't that I'm ignoring you, but if I don't have, usually, like I said, most of my order, not most of them, all of them, all of my videos stem from an order um, so I and I'm so busy I don't have time to make something that isn't an order because I'm usually backlogged and I just and that is why sometimes they seem like they're the same thing over and over that's because a lot of the things that I sell are the same thing people custom orders there's certain themes that just seem to be um, what the vast majority of the population wants. So, with that said, I'm not ignoring you and I'm not doing the videos because I'm mean. I'm really not. Um, but I just don't have time. Um, once I get my orders finished, I also have scrapbooking that I do for numerous people. And they send me their pictures and I make the scrapbooks. Um, and so, I am never at a loss for things to do. Alright, I'm going to show you these and then I'm going to do a video of the finished product and some still shots. There are the little, they say happy birthday and if you look really close you can't see real good but the pattern on the paper um, is very very subtle but it does have my greens and my blues in it. Um, now I'm going to show you the finished product. We're going to go to the next room. So I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. I started to film it a minute ago and my camera said it ran out of space. Anyway, here's one of the Tinkerbells. 
and these are all done with Google um, images and I put glitter on the wings of all of them and then I put these little paper flowers that are recollections on the waist of her outfit this one is standing on a gift box and the print is the 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 um, Tinkerbell print and it's got little tiny Tinkerbells on it and the little circle pattern here you can't tell on the camera but those little circles and that some of that little print is the lime green that's in most of the prints and my boxes there's my next Tinkerbell and again she's got the flowers on her waist and here is another one and the glitter I've got again the glitter on all of them and I did all of them as a cotton print and here is my favorite one um, I love her coloring her I have her her leaning on a green gift box with the green Tinkerbell and then the, the same circle print on part of the box but her hair um, her face the print on it was just flawless then I did a two foot um, Peter Pan and he's also print and cut but again the print was flawless and and uh, people keep asking me and I'm sure it's because I haven't seen all my videos I have a 7510 Epson 12 inch printer that's what I use and his shoes were cut separate his his bottom half I cut right here at the waist and his top half and then he has a belt um, that I did out of a what's that jute rope around his waist then I did um, SME from the newer version of the SME I used it from Jake in the Netherland because she ordered C Captain Hook SME and Jake and Scully all of them are from the newer movie so I used this one again he is a print and cut and then I've got Scully and Captain Hook this is all one centerpiece here and there we have Jake this um, treasure chest in the back is actually from my Cricut Imagine uh, again I did it on my silhouette made a template and did it on my silhouette these were all from Im uh, Google Images they're all double sided um, one of the reasons this is you know some people prefer the die cut versus the print and cut however I like the detail I like the shading um, I prefer the print and cut um, less tearing um, it might be easier however you do use a lot of ink you know I go through probably 10 10 to 12 ink cartridges per month and that's a lot because they're not cheap so um, you know you you well you do whatever your preference is I prefer the print and cut so a lot of the things that I have on my website I will be changing and not be using the die cut layered especially when they're the little tiny cuts because these little tiny cuts are really really hard to do and keep them perfect looking um, I'm thinking nope that's not the one that I okay I did the banner this I used the the um, print from the Tinkerbell and this particular print actually had a little tiny Tinkerbell up in the corner of it that was my and then I did the faux stitching to print on my circles on my banners on my happy birthday banner and now I'll back up and kind of show you the whole thing all together um, whoops we're missing one of her and then I'll take some still shots that's pretty much it thank you and have a good day